Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to study about the stomach diseases. First is gastritis, second is peptic ulcer disease, in which the ulceration takes place, and third is tumors. First, we are going to study about the gastritis, which is an inflammation of the gastric mucosa, and it can be acute and chronic. Acute means acutely inflamed, erosion, hemorrhage takes place, and we can find the neutrophils are present there in the chronic form. We have non-erosion, we have non-hemorrhagic and lymphocytes we can find out. Chronic gastritis can be of two types, type A and type B. Type A means associated with autoimmunity, means our own immunity. And type B, it is associated with bacteria. Now we are going to study about the acute gastritis. We already studied erosion, hemorrhage and neutrophils are present. And the causes can be most common is NSAIDs use. Second, alcohol smoking, brain injury or burn injury, uremia and stress means stress like we are taking the stress and ulcers are causing or gastritis is causing so stress gastritis presentation first is dyspepsia means indigestion dysphagia, swelling difficulties, pain in the epigastric region, nausea, vomiting and massive hematemesis means uh, blood in the vomiting melina, fetal blood loss we can find the blood in the feces Management can be spontaneous, it can be spontaneously resolved and we can do endoscopy to rule out the other causes like tumors or various causes. Next is biopsy and the treatment can be antacids, PPIs, antiemetic, metoclopramide like and the prokinetics like dome peridot. Next we are going to study about the chronic gastritis. Chronic gastritis is of type A and type B. Like in 10% of cases, type A is causing like stomach and it is causing stomach, body, fundus and uh, not in antrum. In type B, it is 90% and it is causing in antrum. So, uh, type B is most common, most common like 90% of the cases. Type A is associated with uh, autoimmune, like antibody form against parietal cell, our own layer of stomach. Like in this case, HCL production is decreases, like it is, it will cause achlorohydria. Hypergastrinemia like, uh, and the, if the parietal cells are for, uh, damaged, so intrinsic factor will not form and it will cause pernicious anemia. It is associated with Hashimoto thyroiditis, Addison disease, type 1 diabetes and gastric adenocarcinoma. In type B, it is most common associated with H. pylori infection. Antrum inflammation is seen, lymphocytes are present and we can provide therapy or H. pylori, H. pylori eradication therapy. We can provide supplements in type A and supportive treatment in the type A. Next, we are going to study about Menetrius disease. What is Menetrius disease? In which gastric pits are present, like inflammation or pits are formed in the gastric mucosal layer. Mucosal cell elongated, torturous, and in this case, parietal chief cells are replaced with the mucus secreting cell. And it is also called as gas granular hyperplastic gastropathy, and it is male predominance. In this case, proteins are lo lost, so protein losing enteropathy and it will cause hypoalbuminia because proteins are losing, osmotic pressure will be decreased, fluid loss will be there and peripheral edema. Or it can be converted into malignancy, we can give PPIs, we can give H. pylori eradication therapy and sometimes partial gastrectomy. Like in this case, we are seeing uh, mucosa walls are elongated, so it is menetrize disease. Uh, now we are going to study about peptic ulcer disease. Peptic ulcer disease, as the name suggests, ulcer in any part of the GI tract like each figures, stomach, duodenum or ileum. Most common in lesser curvature and in the duodenum in the first part. So ulcer, what is ulcer? Ulcer is an excavated area, excavated area and discontinuity in epithelium like in ulcer and erosion. Ulcer invasion of muscularis propria, erosion, no invasion. And ulcer, acute fibrosis and chronic. It can be divided into acute fibrosis and chronic fibrosis. So, thank you so much.